guys. Going to do some oh, League of Legends speedrunning, which believe it or not you can do. Uh, there's a couple of different categories, and we are going to be doing here one versus five bots beginner. So can you tell me the winner, uh, just to guarantee? The character which we'll be using is, let me find it. I believe it's Jinx. Yes, okay, Jinx is the cool. winner. So we're going to add some bots here. So I have a different bots depending on the character. Uh, so I saw a couple of people in chat asking, like, why can't we pick any character? And the answer is it's actually very different, running different characters. We'd use a different route, do different things. So I only know how to play two characters. And uh, a lot of them are a lot slower than others as well. Just got on my phone, like, what the order should be. So the order matters that you put the bots in as well, because that's what lanes they go to. It goes bot, uh, top, no, yeah, bot, top, mid, bot, top, I think. Uh, nearly because he appears earlier. Yeah, cool. All right. So, Jinx. Throw in Jinx. So, I'm going to be using some runes. So, I'll quickly go through them. Like, I'm using Conqueror. It's good. Getting some HP back from Triumph. Uh, demolition for destroying towers is the main thing. Uh, heal is really good because it lets you win just fights that you won't be able to normally win. Teleport is pretty obvious. And we're going to go straight into it. So, uh, time starts as soon as the loading screen ends. We're using game time anyway uh, for normal speedrunning. But so, basically, once it hits 100%, like a couple of seconds later, it will go into the game and just start the time straight away. It's hard to count in because it's not like very obvious how to count it in. Okay, and go. Okay, so straight away there's going to be a couple of things happening. So uh, I picked up rocket launchers because rocket launchers are very good. Uh, and then we're going to go to this spot. So there's actually a AI like cheese you can do versus bots at the very start of the game, which is really fun. You can actually do this in your own games, like when you're playing versus bots. It's easier with a ranged character. Thanks very much for picking Jinx. Jinx has helped me out a lot. So hopefully this goes well. It'll really suck if it goes bad. The bots can be a bit weird. Uh, there, so there is a lot of RNG in how the bots behave. So hopefully they attack me. They're, they're not. They're running away from me right now. It's just RNG when they decide to attack me. There we go. Okay. Follow me. Follow me. Okay. They normally follow you once they attack you once. This is quite strange. Oops. That's not great yet. Okay. Uh, for safety, I'm going to heal here. I wouldn't want to heal here normally, but I'm not. If I died here, that'd be really bad. So we need to get some extra shots on Yi, and then we need to shoot. So hopefully he should die in three tower shots now. It's going to be close. Nice, and then another two for that. Sweet. So that's when we get an immediate double kill. So before lane is even started, we've got a double kill. Because of Triumph, we get an extra 40 gold from those two kills. That allows us to start lane with boots and a pickaxe, which is plus 25 AD. So that's pretty OP. So we're going to start pushing these lanes in. So CSing isn't actually very important. So if I miss, like, pushing the lanes is more important than actually getting the last hits. Because we get so much gold through, um, like, killing the bots. We don't really need to see us. But at the start of the game, it matters a little bit. So I want to pull these bots now. I want to get another double kill. So hopefully they'll pull me. They'll follow me all the way to the, the turret here. Normally I want to fight Yi first. Because he's the scarier one, but doesn't seem to be going that way today. Okay. Okay. Oh. Okay, yes. Jinx is passive, makes me really OP when I uh, get a kill. So that's good. We got 800 gold, that's all I need. So we can recall back. Buy some Berserker's Greaves and off to bot lane we go. So there, I do have a route for like um, how many kills, how much gold I want to get before I recall every point. Uh, it's very rare that you actually get through a whole run like without having to like make something up because if anything goes wrong if a bot just escapes or you die it's really really easy to die in this run then I'll have to start improvising um, so 
This is actually one of the scarier parts of the run because I want to get four kills before I recall. And I don't have heal because I already used it at the start. I do have a potion though, so... so. So we want to soften them up here. Our HP is very important because we need, like I say, we need to get... Uh, yeah, so one of the bots is getting away from us here. Yeah, but luckily Jinx's passive is too good. Um, okay, so but we are very low on HP, so... Uh, we do need to get another... Ideally, another two kills. In a, in a perfect world, we want to recall at 2,300 gold. Um, I'm not going to say I'm definitely going to be able to do that. We can get some extra gold by destroying some of this turret plating here to get even more overpowered. Yeah, so this you might as well probably gathering. This first part of the run is all about just trying to build up uh, enough gold so that we can basically end the game. So you only got one turret plating there, which is not great, but to make it work. And also, both bots will come back at the same time. But well, we'll see. We'll see how this goes. Hopefully, I can. Okay. Okay, I might be able to get them to do something really stupid if I'm lucky. Okay. Oh, yep. Yeah. Okay, that's not bad. That. Slow them there. I don't think I'm going to be able to get this. Uh, she might, oh, she looks like she's sticking around. I might be able to save this. Okay, yeah. Okay, cool. So, the, Nidalee needs to follow me. Uh, is she going to follow me? Okay, use heal there. Nice. Okay, need to get back through. Okay, cool. We've actually destroyed this turret plate. And if we can get it... Uh, just about, yeah, that's enough gold. Oh god, that, okay. That's not too bad, because we need to recall anyway. So dying there is actually, like, that's not even really a time loss. Maybe a couple of seconds. That's so basically an optimal time to die. The fact that Lucian will be slightly stronger later is just completely irrelevant. So now we're going to start going into the mid lane and start moving towards ending the game. Uh, we're still not strong enough to be able to fight because once we get like into their base, they will group up as a five. So we basically need to be able to one versus five them. Um, so we need to be really strong to do that. And the way we're going to do that is getting uh, Infinity Edge. Um, so we're just going to work towards that. So firstly, Zillion, he does have his ult. It's basically RNG if he uses it to save himself or not. Like there, he didn't use it. Uh, it's about a 30-40% chance every single time we fight him. Um, Lost a bit more HP than I would have liked there, but no biggie. Whoa. Shouldn't have taken that tower shot. Use the rockets for the AoE on the... Usually it takes at least two waves to get through this first turret. Because of the turret plating, it takes a really long time to get through the turrets, but they give you loads of gold. Zillion should be back any time now. Yeah, there he is. We don't want to get hit by any more bombs. Our HP is actually really low, so... Let's see if I can bait one here. Oh. He's just not using a bomb. Okay. Cool, Zillion. Oh, and then he ulted, like, one frame before he died. Um, which is pretty standard. Oh, and then he's bombed me. Okay, we want to get off these minions. Okay. It's going, it's going okay so far. That My HP is a big problem though right now. I'm probably just going to have to recall pretty soon. And I, I don't want to recall... Ideally, I don't want to recall until um, the uh, inhib is down. Uh, but again, that's one of those things where... It, you, you know, you're not always in a perfect world. Do we have time for a donation? Yeah, go for it. Yeah. We have a $25 donation from Tokoloni1 with just the comment, Cheers, lads. Thank you for your donation. Nice. Yeah, 
Dillion wasting my time a little bit there, but should be fine. If we can get this turret here, that would be really good. Ooh. No, we're not going to be able to get this turret this time. But next wave we'll have a siege minion, just the big strong cannon, well, the cannon minions. So st step back, let's see it. Yeah, I'm still not too worried about Zillion. He shouldn't be able to kill us on this HP, because we'll live one bomb, which is basically all the damage he does. Oh god, don't take a tower shot, that would have killed me. <laughs> That was close. You have to play with fire with the turrets a lot in this run. Using Jinx's passive there to do some extra damage. Gives me extra attack speed when I get a kill. Okay, so we're up to in hit turrets, that's okay pace. We can get the demolish here on this. There's a bunch of damage like that. See how many... Uh, so the champs will start actually showing up now, so we'll start seeing more than Zillion. It's pretty much RNG of like how many we start seeing. Okay, yeah, so it's like... Okay, yeah, so there's three of them. Um, I'm just gonna play it safe and recall, although they look like they're gonna... Sometimes they just follow you to the ends of the earth, but I'm in this bush, so they don't know where I am, so... So we're gonna buy Infinity Edge. Uh, and buy Vamp Scepter and uh, and another BS Sword. So basically, what that gives us is uh, a bunch, loads of extra damage. Our crits deal more damage now. Um, we have 25% chance to crit, uh, and also we have life steal now. So this is a safety item. You wouldn't get this if you're going for world record, but it makes it way easier. Ah, oh, didn't quite get him. Yeah, Masti is one of the more annoying bots, but he's really useful because he splits up from the rest of the group. If they're all ranged... That was interesting, Lucian. You can see we're really, really, really strong now. We can just walk into the bots. And a maneuver like that you couldn't really do if I wasn't using Vamp Scepter, because I'd be so low on HP now that I'd just have to recall after another fight. But by taking the Vamp Scepter, it means I'm a bit weaker. So I've had to farm a bit more to t get it, but it basically means that I can play really risky in the fights, which helps out loads. So one thing we're also hoping is for Nidalee to basically never turn up, which is basically RNG. Take um, yeah, yes, yeah, so this, this is a really satisfying run uh, to do if you play League of Legends because you get to just get so many quadra kills and pentakills. Um, it's actually a really accessible run as well. Um, uh, it's not it's not that hard to get like a sub 20 time or even better than that honestly. Um, oh, Nidalee's shown up. Try and get both of these, yeah. We don't want them to get away. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Clap for the in uh, Infinity Edge <laughs> jinx. Okay, it's actually going really well. Um, so we want to try and get rid of these turrets. Often you can get stuck in a stalemate where, where it's really difficult to actually finish off these turrets. So I'm just going to play it a little bit dangerous. Actually, no, I'm not. The bots are all split up, which is really ideal. It means, that, like, if if they are stacked all of like five on once, another pentakill. Okay, wow, and that's that was actually really really smooth. They were all not stacked up. Um, so time is when the nexus dies. So a couple of seconds and time. <laughs> yep. So that's how you speedrun League of Legends. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah, this is quite a fun run. Um, I'd highly recommend picking it up. It's actually uh, harder than it looks in some ways. Um, 
like the world record is eight and a half minutes and that run is actually incredible um, and gets really really good rng um it looks really easy to replicate but it, it's a fun run to just play around with if you know if any of you play league just like hop in and be like hey like i'm gonna give this a go uh jinx is really overpowered for this mode um uh, as well so i'd recommend playing jinx um but yeah <laughs> yeah yeah, you can also use the cheese in uh, intermediate bot games, so you can get your first one of the day quicker by using that cheese. So it's practical speedrunning strats. Uh, okay, I think that's everything from me. Uh, Shouts to UKSG for being awesome as always. Um, yep, cool. Thanks, guys. Bye.